Fucking gonna be loud. Alright. Alright, uh, first and foremost, we gotta say all praises be to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Raka, Kodash. And we gotta say double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and, and Shalom to the sincere elect out there teaching the truth of faith and sincerity, man. Right? And now, so we just gonna flow straight into it, man. Right? This is, um, this is, a Second Ezra. No, actually, I'm, I'm gonna read Wisdom of Solomon, Chapter <coughs> One and Where is it? This is um, Proverbs chapter 1 verse 2 To know wisdom and instruction To perceive the words of understanding To receive the instruction of wisdom, justice and judgment and equity To give subtility to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion A wise man will hear and will increase learning and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. Yeah. To, un to understand the proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and the dark sayings. That is the point. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And uh, yeah, man, hey, in, within these scriptures, I found what? Knowledge and understanding. And as it says in, can anyone get Isaiah 33? Ah, I found it. Yeah, fine. Hey, the, the knowledge and wisdom contained in the scriptures are only given to a, a, a few men, a few select men out there, man. Okay, you got the whole nation of Israel, okay, which is a vast nation. You so-called Negroes, Hispanic, Hispanics, and Native Americans out there, okay, that are, uh, they don't have this wisdom, man. Okay, and when you try and give this wisdom to them, they 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 are not self to understand it, and that's why they, our people are destroyed, man. Okay, they're destroyed because why? They, we went off against the heavenly Father. And the Lord has his elect that he's that, that he really in this time that he's shown mercy to man and given the understanding of the scriptures to come back to who? To come back to the understanding of who they are, man, that they're princes of the power, to come back to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, come back to the heavenly father and his son, man. Isaiah thirty three and six says and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. Yeah, we're coming into hard times and what did it say? It said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, right? So, hey, one of the first things is when a, when a man uh, watches, you know, uh, the, the prophets, what's the first thing? What's, we, we, we listen to the apostles and the elders. What's the first thing that we, we've got? Fear. The fear, man, because why? It's good to say, um, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Persuade, you know, when you're getting cut, when you're hearing about all the atrocities that are about, because it's good to say what? Um, within this, with Ezekiel 2, it says, uh, within the scriptures, I found what? Woe, lamentation, we didn't get that. Mm. And mourning, man. So, Hey, heavy times and destruction is, is spoken of in the scriptures, prophecies that are coming to pass. Yeah. And if you don't want to be um, a partaker of that destruction, you want to be saved out of it, then what? These scriptures got uh, also speak about salvation onto a, onto a few that are ready to understand it, man. Yeah. Okay. I, I actually found a scripture that I was looking for. Okay. This is um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 1 and 14. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and it was created... <coughs> With the faithful in the womb, mm. right? So, so it actually proves that you know those who who, who have obtained this truth, right, were what chosen from the foundation of this earth, man, right? Because two, <coughs> the two thirds of our people and those who haven't obtained the truth, they can't obtain this truth, man, right? That's why ha having this this faith is really like an important thing that's only unto those who are his elect man because <coughs> even if they hear this this truth or not right they there's nothing that they can do to obtain this word man right that's why the, the, the actual scripture says in um ephesians chapter two and eight that faith is what a gift mm. right which that 
gift has only been given unto those who are of his elect, right? Yeah. Have you got a precept? Uh, yeah, but the um, one, one, the above uh, 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 four is equal to. We start from verse nine. It says, and when I looked, and behold, an hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein, and they spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and it was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. Right. And how, how are you going to survive that, man? Through what the fear of the Lord. The, it said, what does it say? Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of that times, man. And what also? Like the brother brought out in Ephesians, which I, can, which I can read, the Lord through great grace for gave us faith, man. Okay, and it's to, to a few chosen men has given faith, and the, the elect are going to have that faith unto the end, man. Mm. This is what it says. It says Ephesians chapter two verse eight, for by grace are ye saved. It says saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. So it's a gift. The Lord is. If, if you're going to give a gift. To a select few, so certain people can have faith and certain people aren't. And that means that you have an election, mm. and you have a, a, and you have those elected for salvation, and also those that are what pretty much election elected for destruction. Yeah. Everyone has their lot, man. Okay. And hey, we were brothers were watching this video of this um, of this Jake, and he was basically hating on himself, man. Mm. Self hate, and that's what one of the main problems also out there, man. Jake, Jake hating on each other, you know, and the curses that you, yeah. I should be evil towards each other, okay. And it's like when you come into this understanding, you come into the truth. Okay, yeah, we're under the curses, but brothers try and you know we try. Hey, we 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 we, we treat our trouble good, man. Yeah. You know, we're brothers, man. You know, but hey, Jake out there, they're, they're all kinds of fruit, man. Yeah. Hating on themselves. This this guy's talking about he would he didn't want to have he didn't, he didn't want his own son to look like him. Yeah. Because he said he was too dark skinned. You know. Yeah. Which he was. Hey, he, he, hey, he was. Um, made in what the image of the heavenly father, man. Okay. Image of right? God. Hey, we can get that right now. Um, the one that the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, the Messiah, he was actually a so-called black man, man. He was a dark-skinned, a very dark-skinned, melanated man. You know? Yeah, that, wants to that, that goes yeah. back into um, you know having this knowledge, this knowledge, wisdom, wisdom and understanding, man. Because that guy, or talk about some rapper. I don't know what the guy's name is, but one of them. Um, Glock nine. I think Glock 9. Glock 9. Yeah. Glock so, nine. you know, if you had the, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures, mm -hmm. you would know that you were in a pretty good place. You would know that, first of all, the heritage <coughs> is the prince of the power, yeah. you know, Yasha Allah. And you would know that that's something to actually, you know, yeah. to look forward to, man, because the Lord is going to come back. He was Yahweh Shai, and he's going to exalt his people, man. You know, but this guy is thinking, you know, he's looking at his arms and thinking he don't want his son to be the same color as him. That's. That's that's how Esau has done a number on our people, man. To the point where they're so messed up, they don't even want to be themselves. Okay. Okay. I believe the both, yeah. Yeah, both the point on point priest. This is um, Hosea four and six. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, and thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou that thou, thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget their ch children. So, the um, one the uh, main re reason as to why our people are just so vastly destroyed is because they don't have this truth, right? Mm -hmm. So, 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 what actually <laughs> heals our people and makes them them strong is coming back onto this truth, man, right? Which ultimately speaking, in the kingdom of heaven to come all Israel will obtain this word and, and, and be, be upright and perfect but that's why right now it's only starting with a small portion of people being those who are his elect man <coughs> so our people are truly like just destroyed right because they they obtain this truth right. yeah that might have a scripture this is uh, Proverbs chapter 30 and verse 5. It says, Every word of the hour is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. And you know, the elect have put their trust in the hour by Hashem Yahushai. We put our trust in the words and we believe in the words, man. So then the Lord is going to be a shield unto us. So when we go on the highways and the byways, we trust in the word and the word is a shield, man. You know, so when you see scoffers come up to the camp with their way with dog trains and, you know, they're trying to bring all kind of philosophies to the table. This gospel, this word is a shield. It blocks all of that, man. And it cuts it to pieces. You know? Um, Hebrews 4. You know? 
That's the word of the Lord is sharpening the double-edged sword, man. Yeah. You know? So that, that's how our defense system is this word, man, of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. And that's what we've we got to trust in. And it cuts everything else, man. That's what gives you great confidence in Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, man. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, I wish we could use that word confidence. Right, um, you know, confidence, belief, faith. Right, that's an important thing. You mentioned the guy, uh, Glock 9, he had no uh, self-belief. Well, and that's 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 the majority of us when we when we come into this thing. There's the certain things that we don't believe in ourselves, right about, right. But he, I mean, he 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 believes that he can't really amount to anything other than a rapper, right. That's why you tell some of these guys, look, man, what you call it? The, 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 you know, the, the, you know, the Lord is black, the so-called black man, and you know, <coughs> they, you know, they might be able to eat that. Hey, you know, hey, always known God is black. Well, but then you say, look, man, you know, we're going to put the Edomite in slavery. Then they look at this so-called white man, and they're like, they don't believe that that can happen, right? This is, uh, 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 as, as you call it, Hebrews 4 and 12. So for the word of the Most High is quick, right, and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, right, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Right, which is why at the end of the day, look, you, you ain't you, you ain't supposed to um you know talk really on on on, on what you got to say. We was uh, 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 looking at it, uh, which call it on one of them social media platforms earlier on. You basically had a guy who was trying to bring out this doctrine, trying to cut First um, Corinthians fourteen thirty four, but a woman keeping silence. And then someone in the comments was like, "Look, man, where are your scriptures at?" Right, you're talking, you're talking, you're talking, you're all the scriptures, because ultimately it's the scriptures that do the cutting. As we read, it's sharper than any two-edged sword, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. And, and going going right back to the point on, on, on those who haven't obtained this truth, really it's because in spirit, those, 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 those people are proud, man. Right? This is James 4 and 6. But he, he giveth more... Grace, wherefore he saith, Yahweh resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Now, what is grace itself, right? If you go into the word, right, it's um, Strong's G, G5463, Charis, right? And if you skip down to actually see what it means, it says of merciful count kindness by which God, exerting his holy influence upon souls, turns them to Hamashiach, right? And, and keeps them, strengthens and increases them in the Christian faith, right? So really it's down... Uh, unto the Lord to put to 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 put the spirit on, on certain men to obtain this truth, because it's one thing that we can't actually forget is that according to the, to, to the scriptures, a certain portion of our people have, have been purposely being blinded from from hearing this truth, right? This is um. Uh, 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 he said you had a precept. Yeah. yeah. This is uh, John fifteen sixteen says, "Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you." And ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. Yeah. That whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, He may give it you. That's right. That's right. So, in terms of those who are actually in this faith and endure, it's just down to the Spirit, you know, of the Lord, man. Right. The the, the, the exact same way is down to those who actually don't obtain this truth. This is um, Isaiah six and nine. <coughs> And he said, Go and tell tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes. L lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. So it's like, there's an actual angel that has stopped two thirds of our people, right? The those of our people who ain't gonna obtain the truth, mm. there's actually like an angel that's been sent to them, which has blinded them, man. Right? So that's why the scripture says, "Blessed 
at your eyes. Right? Yeah, yeah, I've got that. Still. You can, we can read that. This is Matthew chapter thirteen, verse sixteen. It says, "But blessed are your eyes." Sorry, this one is a bit more in that. Uh, yeah, I read it from um, ten. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? The answer and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them yeah, it is not it, given. If I can say, but even now the apostles aren't even, when, when they teach, they're not even speaking in parables. Right? You know, for the most part they're breaking it down plain. But even then people still can't get it. Right? That's mm -hmm. right. It says... For whosoever have, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not, from him shall be taken away, even that he have. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing, see not, and hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand. Mm. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Mm. Lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. Right, so you, you get guys trying to be like, look man, hey, we, 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 you know, you, 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 two thirds, you know, they shouldn't be destroyed. What they don't understand is the law, right? And then how was shy, have both said, we don't want them, so who are you? Right, to say that the Lord has to save someone. Right, and you know, that's, and that's why it goes on to say what it says, because look, the, the Lord has said, I don't want you. Right, that's, a, you know, that's shameful, man. Mm. Right? It says, but blessed are your eyes, for they see, mm. and your ears, for they hear. Mm. You know, I, you know, to land back of what the Bible read, man. So that means that um, everyone's got eyes and ears. So what does that mean? That means that there's only... Uh, it's, it's talking about spiritual eyes and ears, man. Uh, to, be able, to be able to see and understand this truth, man, mm -hmm. which is only given to a fair few, yeah. a select few, man. Oh, I got a precept. Oh, uh, cool, man. I, I do. Right, cool. Four. Second Corinthians four and three. But if our gospel be hid, mm. it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the power of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Least the light of the glorious gospel of Yahamashiach, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. So again, going into that, these are these are a group of people, the two thirds that have purposely been blinded by the heavenly powers, man. You know, they've been deselected. You know, the Lord doesn't want nothing to do with them on this side, man. Right? And that's how the Lord set up his set up for two thirds of our people to be cut off and die on this side. It's as simple as that. And the one third of our people are gonna actually be delivered, right? And you know, the elect are gonna understand this understand this truth fully. And what it actually means, man. That's right. That's right. This is um, Ecclesiastes 39 and 24. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. Right? So, so the scripture is saying, just as this 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 truth is plain unto those who he was elect, this truth is also a, a Stumbling block, man, onto the wicked. Okay, right. okay, hey, because you get um, you you get certain uh, bits of doctrine, and it's like it will be ripped, you know, broken down clean, and the guy will just be bugged out, and you just like, wait, but it's like, how did you draw that conclusion? Wait, uh, uh, giving examples, camp a couple months ago, you know, uh, Baba Mani speaking, right, and a scholar comes up, was like, you know, uh, you know, scripture says, you know, the one who walks with Jesus Christ, he's olive skinned. And the guy turns around and, you know, Amar, Baba Amar's like, look, yeah, but olives come in two colours, you know, green and black. Right, and the, the, that scoffer goes, why can't you be green? Right? You know, and that's just, <laughs> and, and that's just like, a, a guy can't use his, his, his uh, you know, the Lord hasn't opened his eyes, he can't reason. You can't reason with a guy who's going to make a statement like that. You know, because forget the analogy, right? The scriptures are plain, right? You know, you'll get guys, you know, who read a, uh, uh, what do you call it? You had one scoffer when we, when when it was read to him, Revelation one thirteen, and then Daniel's where right, he was you know it was like okay, but his feet are are that color, but not the rest of his body, yeah. mm -hmm. right? It's a stumbling, but despite it being so plain and so simple, right? You know the ages can't get it. 
That's right, that's right. And it says, as his ways are plain to the unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the uh, wicked. For the good are good things created from the beginning, so evil things for sinners. So in truth, it's like, you know, those who have obtained the truth, they they were actually chosen from the, the foundation of the we world to, to obtain this truth, man. But, 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 but those who actually don't obtain the truth were actually chosen before this earth was made to, to scoff and be destroyed, man. Yeah. You know? And like I said, how it's plain to those that are basically of the elect. Mm -hmm. It's the truth because we will look at certain scriptures and it just clicks. Mm -hmm. But then the scoff will come along and it, it's so complex to them that the scriptures talk about the simplicity of the Arashai. But that's only for the elect. Yeah. You know, but it's, it's a stumbling block onto the wicked, man. They can't get into it. No, no matter how much they read, yeah, these scriptures, they just can't see it with that, that spiritual yeah. eye because the Lord hasn't given them that, man. I'll go on on what you just said. Is, uh, uh, First Corinthians 3 and 7 says, so, neither is it he, ne so then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but the most are that giveth the increase. Praise the most I that will, uh, will you know, put you on, on a level to start getting and understanding certain bits of, uh, you know, of, you know, certain scriptures or whatever. Then we could all attest to times when, you know, we were, we were reading over something, we didn't get it. And then when the apostles broke it down, it just made so much sense. It was so clear that that was the Lord using the apostles, you know, to, to build you up in the spirit so that you can see certain things. You know, you ain't going to, you know, come into this truth and then, you know, overnight you see everything. Right, you know, the Lord has to build you up and put you on the level. Right, also got the one, um, most Carl quote, uh, uh which call it quoted that this is Ephesians 1 and 4 says, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, most so before the world was created, you know, the, the elect were chosen. Right, it says that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Right, because you read, um, Two, two precepts, you read uh, Romans 3.23, all of sin and come short of the glory of the most such. So before we came into the street, but I'll speak for myself, I was a Christian. Where I was uh, breaking, you know, as Yahweh Shah said, you know, the greatest uh, commandment, love that love the most sight. Well, with all that heart, I was an idolater, right? You know, but then, uh, you know, but then you go to another priest, I forget where it is, it's in the Psalms, Psalms, I think, round 32. Where it speaks about um, blessed is he whom the most side uh, imputes not iniquity. Well, so that's what that's talking about because we have sinned, but oh, through election, right? You know, you know, you know, the elect Lord will we be them guys, right? We're without blame before the most side. Blotted out. Blotted out, right? Yeah, I'll finish this real quick. It's verse five. It says, "Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children." Right by Yahweh Shammashat. So you that goes back to Hosea one and ten when it speaks when when uh, one and nine right when the Lord's like you know I call your son lower me but for I will not be your uh, your God and you shall not be my people roughly paraphrasing but through Yahweh Shah we've been adopted back to the Lord right it says uh, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shammashat to Himself. According to the good pleasure of his will, so the Lord, you know, he, he wanted to choose you, so he chose you. Right, Romans 9, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. Another precept. Romans 8 and 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against Yahweh Shai. For it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of Yahweh Shai, he is none of his. You know, so, 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 so that means those who haven't obtained the truth are, are, are carnal, which is death. Mm. Right? And that... They ain't of his elect, right? Because why? If they were of his elect, they'd be spiritual, mm. right? And be, be a part of them. But what the scripture says now, if any man not, and if now if 
any man have not the spirit of Yahweh Shai, he is none of his, right? So, so, so that proves to, to even be a part of this truth and of the let, the spirit of, of the Lord has to be upon you, man. Precept. This is John 6 and 44. No man, this is in red as well, Yahweh Shai's words, no man can come to me except the Father. Draw which have sent me, draw him, yeah. and I will raise him up at the last day. Now, when you go into the word draw, it says draw by inward power, mm. lead, uh, to compel, to draw literally, like you need to drag. You know, the Lord has mm. to drag you into this, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, he has to compel you, compel you to yeah. want to come into the tree. Take you out of the world. You yeah. Know? You might be literally. holding on to the world, like, yeah! <laughs> come in. Yeah, you get dragged in. Because, like, like uh, who was it? That, fire was burning yeah, in Jeremiah. Jeremiah, Jeremiah you know so that's that's an example of being drawn in you just can't help but get into it because it's of your spirit to do so Jonah man huh? he, he, him, yeah, he was basically yeah. dragged into the trap. Yeah. Yeah. He, he tried it he was like yeah alright yeah. go a precept this is uh, John chapter 17 verse 6 I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world oh. thine they were and thou gavest them me, mm -hmm. and they have kept thy word. So that's already been started from, from the foundation, man, through the most time, man. And it says, Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me, and this is the point now, I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Mm -hmm. So the elect has already set it up, man. When, even when, um, when um, what's it, the, the, the sons of Zebedee, they were asking, um, they were asking, um, you yeah, know, Lord, can we settle it right? And they said, well, it's not for me to give, man. Mm. You know? Hey, Yahweh, wash me, i The Most had already set it up and, and, and planned it, man. It was already set up. Look, um, there's certain things that were already set up. Yeah. You know, even, um, even the, the hour which the Lord's going to return, and the Most High's got that, man. Mm. It's all itself and, 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 and preordained, man. Yeah. You know? So there's going to be men that are going to understand this, believe in Yahweh Shai, believe in His Son, mm. and they're going to be saved, man, because Yahweh Shai is what? He's that light, man. You know? He's the life. He's the way. He's the truth, man. All right, Precept. Right. This is um, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 13. But we are bound to give thanks always to Yahweh for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because from the, the beginning, Yahweh have chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth, whereunto he called you by our gospel, Obtaining the glory of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Right. So, 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 what he's he's, he's 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 saying here, like in this verse, that from the foundation of this earth, man, the Lord what chose those who are of His elect, right? It's like it, it's, it's, it's see, that's why in this faith, like you can't really get puffed up and proud, because it's down to the spirit of the Lord whether you're in the truth or not man you know that's why it's, it's important to pray in uh, of, you know uh, uh, Psalm Psalm 51 you know take take not thine, thine Holy Spirit away from me man mm. you know I want a quick precept sorry for you this is John chapter 14 verse 6 Yahweh shall I say unto him I am the way the truth and the life no man come up unto the Father but by me because in that verse in verse 13 it says um um, that the Most High have from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and the belief of truth. And what do you got? What what name must we be saved under, man? Mm -hmm. We've got to believe in, in the Heavenly Father and His Son. We mm -hmm. have to believe in Yahweh Way, Yahweh Shai, man. You know, that's 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 that, that is how that is the key into 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 of salvation. One of the first things you learn is the name, man. Okay, when you hear that vibration of the name, because hey, that's one of the first things that Moses asked, man. Okay. That, that that name itself is a prayer. That name itself is a vibration, man. When you hear that, that you you don't you might not understand, but hey, to actually um, to actually know and understand the heavenly Father Father's name, 
you know, to be able to call upon him, that opens all the doors, man. Because the scriptures talk about, did, when, did anyone fear the Lord or call upon him and, 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 and was forsaken? Yeah. No, man. The Lord's the Lord always been with the men that call upon him, man. Who've, who, who've been humbled and been in, in positions where they had to have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. And that's the thing that we need in these times. That's why the name is so important. So these guys out there that are, are trying to get you away from the name, those, that's how you know they're off, man. That's how you know that they're trying to lead the sheep astray. Proverbs 18.10 says the name of Yahweh is a strong tower. Mm. Right? It says the righteous run it into it and they're safe. Right? So if, you know, the, hey, that's, that's what, how we know that the, uh, which quote, majority of the world is weak. The majority of the world don't have that name. Right? So, you you know, you, when you hear Jehovah, that can't be the name. Everyone knows Jehovah. But you ask a Muslim, come up to the camp, say, what's the name of God? They don't say Allah, they all say, you know, uh, it's Jehovah. Right? You might say Yahweh, right? You know, Yahuwah, whatever, what have you. The name of the Lord is a mystery to the masses. Right? You know, uh, it says, it says, it says the righteous run it on, into it, man. So the righteous man of the Lord, they're going to know the name. Right? You, you read uh, Second Ezra's, the second chapter, and it's talking about the crowning of the, uh, you know, that Yahweh Shah is going to do, right, to the elect. Right? It says, these are they that stood so stiffly for the name. So how are they going to stand stiffly if they don't know a name? Yeah. Right? And, and also, why are they standing stiffly? Because with the name comes the characteristic. Right? Jehovah, who's Jehovah? Jehovah is some guy that lets you do whatever you want, and that you can hold a Bible if you want. Right? But Yahweh, right? as spoken of in the scripture, that was broken down by the apostles, he's a power you don't fuck with, man. Yahweh said, look, man, you you know, you come into this truth, right, man, we've got a deal, you can't, you can't leave now. <laughs> you better go do my work. Uh, yeah, kind of, I have a precept. Um, this is John 10 and 26. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, mm -mm -mm. as I said unto you. M my sheep hear my voice. And I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life. They shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all. And, and, and no man is, to, to, is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Right? So, so the Lord going back to verse 26 explained why people can't obtain this word. Right? Because he said what? You, you guys don't believe because you ain't of my sheep. But look, those who are my sheep hear my voice and, and then follow me. And what is this, his voice? It's this word, man. And the true understanding of his, of his, of his, of his truth. Meaning those who are the elect hear everything that's spoken of in this word and, and, and have faith and believe it, man. Mm. And everyone else, you know, that, that isn't of this, this is elect, either just don't hear this, this word at all, or, or like hear it and, and speculate and just doubt. And, and don't ever, you know, that's the scripture says, they ever learn, but we don't ever come to the true understanding mm. of this word, word in, 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 in a roundabout way. No. Yeah. Hey, brother, quote the scripture, Second Corinthians four and three. Oh, you got the scripture earlier on. Well, if, uh, 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 shit, just, could you get that again? I'm just Second Corinthians completely forgotten what it's what four it and three. Yeah. Yeah. But if our gospel yeah. be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Yeah. So gospel's hid, said to them that are lost. So people who ain't gonna get it, they just ain't gonna get it, man. Well, they're lost, and, and as as uh, what you call it, the scripture there was saying. Right? He says, you know, you if you're lost and you hear your, you know, imagine you're like five years old, right? You're in a massive supermarket, lost. You hear your mom and dad's voice, you're going to be comforted, one, right? And you know, you're going to know where it is got to go. But these guys that are lost, right, to whom they don't have the gospel, right? They're lost because they have no parents, man. You know, they're bastards. Okay. Right. I've got a quick precept. This is a... Um Matthew chapter 15 verse 24 But he answered and said I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel mm. You know, and one of the things Our, our people are out there lost man They're lost out there they ain't got a, they, First of all, they don't know who their power is 
Yeah. Because Israel means a what? A prince of the power. Yeah. You don't even know that first of all, they're rejecting being princes, they're rejecting being Israelites, okay? Mm. Because they're hey, they're rejecting Yahweh Bashmi or they're rejecting the um the heavenly father that mm. father that, that, that set them up. Mm. Yeah, 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 you got that Christian song, I once was lost, but now I'm found, huh? Well, and, that, and that's why what when we read Matthew thirteen sixteen, well bless you, your eyes because you see because part of that saying is we, we now know who we are. Well we were just lost, bugged out, bird brain negroes. Like if you, if you look what was that it was on as on a Vlad T V um uh, his his channel, what was the guy's nigga's name again? Glock uh, nine. nine, right? If you look at that you you, you know that's something brothers were discussing when he was watching it. You know, this guy was saying everything that he was saying because he didn't know. He's lost. Well, he doesn't know that you know he's an Israelite. And what does Israel mean? Yasha Allah, he is a prince of power. He is the son of God. Well, he, he doesn't know that God, you know, uh, which quote looks like him. He doesn't know who in the world calls Jesus Christ and looks like him. Well, that's because he ain't got faith, yeah. you know. That's because he, he hasn't got the, the faith, right? The precept. Like this is Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 21. Yet I have planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then art thou turned into the into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? And that's what these people are. There are two thirds, these two thirds out there, yeah, yeah. and these people that don't believe, they become degenerates, man. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. why? Because then they haven't got your help, Shai. Yeah. They're not coming back to the light, to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that has been given to us, man. Yeah, well, that's they right. can't come back. Yeah. And and, and and like even in so, so, so in terms of that scripture, that scripture applies onto the whole Torah, tries to Israel, right? But out of that that bad bad fruit, a certain part of it is is, is good enough, man. Be, be, be being his elect, man, because Israel, you know, as a whole people, should transgress completely. You know, we we just discontinued completely. You know, serve to serve the other gods and stuff, but a small portion turned back, man. You know. The, uh, this is um, wisdom of Solomon during that. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful and loved shall abide with him. For, for grace and mercy is to his saints, and he had care for his elect. Right? So, so it says grace and, 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 and mercy is to his saints, and he has care for his elect. Really, during did this time period, the um, the grace that is talking about is it, this word, man. Because if you have this word and you have faith in this word, it, 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 that that basically means the um, Lord ha, has um, shown some 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 form of mercy, you know, upon you. Because James uh, chapter um, one says, take. Heed unto this word, which is able to what, to save your own soul. So, so to have this, this, this truth and, and to obtain it and to understand it and, and draw to the end, really, that's the um, Lord showing you a form of mercy. Because everyone out there who just being a smoke of weed, being a faggot, just out there in the world, he ain't got a, any form of mercy. He just he's just in the world, bugged out. He, he might have come past the camp, you know. To talk shit and walked on, yep. and now he's going to be destroyed. You know, so that's why it's important to pray Psalm fifty one, man. That the, the the heavenly Father doesn't take his Holy Spirit away from you because n n not everyone, you know, ha has obtained this word. What preset? This is Proverbs chapter three, verse three. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shalt thou find favour and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord, trust in Yahweh Bashem Shai, with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Which a lot of our people ain't doing that, they're leaning on their own understanding. It says what? In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths, man. And that going back to what? That the brother was saying, faith. Okay, if you have the, if, if you've been given that faith, you, if you've been gifted that, then you're gonna believe in Yahweh Hashem and let and he's good, and, and no, hold on, he's the Lord is giving my past, man, you know. Or let the Spirit take care of it, mm -hmm. you know, as brothers say, you know. And that, what does that take? That takes faith, man. 
But these guys out there, they ain't been given the faith, man. That's why they're going out and doing the madness that they're doing. That's why, hey, to even hey, even believing in believing yourself or believing in is it, it starts with what believing in your how about Shmuel Shai, man. And a lot of our people don't have that. They're destroyed. What they're doing is they're believing in Esau, man. They're believing in the so-called white man. They're believing in the system. They're believing in they're, they're believing. Drunk. So they're drunk, as the scripture was said. That's right, man. That's what they're doing, man. They're drunk, but not with wine. Well, that's Esau's philosophies, man. Esau's gone around and terrorized the whole world with his blessing, which is a sword. But so when we, like I said, when we're out there telling them that, look, man, we're, we're going to be rulers over this, man, they can't believe that. They haven't got faith on that, man. All right? That's good, Joe. Um, Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of your hour. So the Lord's given, you know, a certain portion of men that gift of faith so they can be delivered, man. And, you know, it's made it pretty clear that not everyone is going to receive that gift of faith. You know, that's what makes it a gift. Not everyone is going to receive it, man. Mm -hmm. So the ones that do receive it, they're the ones that are kind of the elect, man. You know, many shall be called, but few shall be chosen. You even have men that are called into this truth, that stay in it for a period of time, and then they, you, you know, they get booted out, man. Yeah. You know, that's why the brother mentioned, you know, Psalm 51. Take not that Holy Spirit away from me, man. Because the Lord can even give you a snippet of this truth and then take it away from you, man. Yeah. Which is why, you know, the Lord is also a terrible power. You, you had a, what you call a guy come up to the camp a while back trying to say Paul knew he was saved. Well, that, boy, that's contrary to what the scriptures say, because Paul right. said, lest I be a castaway, as the Bible is yeah. going into, man. Yeah. Plus, if Paul's saying, yo, man, look, lest I be a castaway, well, you know, we, you know, oh, hey, hey, every Christian loves Paul, man. Yeah. Right? Anyone who's ever read the Bible is, oh, yeah, Paul, you know, you, you know, he wrote, wrote the, uh, you know, he, he was, it was a, a real story changing from, you know, the old man into the new man, where he had went through trials and tribulations, where he wrote, um, you know, a good chunk of the New Testament. Right, but books called the New Testament. But even he was was humble enough, right? And he even says that he says, uh, "Keep my body under subjection." Mm -hmm. But even he was humble enough to be like, "Look, man, lest I be a castaway." Yeah, uh, 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 and 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 really, the um, Lord actually told him, you know, you know, when he got mm -hmm. knocked off the horse, that look, I've chosen you to yeah. go and speak to the Gentiles. So so Paul, in essence, knew he was chosen. To go and push the word, but he, he, he was humble, mm. you know, because you know that, that's it. I, I have a quick one. This is Psalms 119 and 105. That word is a lamp unto to my feet and a light unto my path, right? So it says, this this, this word is a, a, a light unto our path. Now, that might seem as a a, 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 a plain scripture. But it's like, wow, it's like, there are people out there who actually don't have any light onto their path. So, so, it's like, if you come into like a, like a room or a house that's completely dark, you're just going to hit a wall, you're going to trip over something, probably get, 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 get injured. You probably might even walk down the fucking stairs and trip over and hit your head and might even slap your neck, you might die. But, if you... Go to a house where whereby it's got like light. Hey man, everything is is, is playing before your eyes. Yeah. You know? Also it adds they're not just walking in a house that is dark. They're walking in a house that is dark whilst being drunk. Yeah. And you know when you're drunk, you might you know hit your arm, and at the time, ah, it's all right. That's these people. They're falling downstairs. They're hitting their heads. Right. You know they're destroying their bodies. They're destroyed, but because they're drunk, they think everything's okay. Right? This is Isaiah 60 yeah. and 2. Right? Uh, uh, it says, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. <laughs> and look around you, man. Just go outside, switch on the TV if you dare. Right? It says, um, And gross darkness to people. Right? It says, But Yahweh shall arise upon thee. Right? And his glory shall be seen upon thee. Right? Hey, we're, we're that, um, that, that, that light. Right? Lord, will we be those men? We're that light. You know, that's, you know, atop the mountain. And we're, we're the only, you know, beacon of light in this world full of darkness. Mm -hmm. Right? You know, Ezekiel 9 and 4 set a mark upon the men that sign that cry. Right? For the uh, wickedness that's done in, in you in the midst thereof. Right? And we're, we're part of those men. But the majority of the people around us are in darkness. Right? Well, precept, you are on the point. 
This is John chapter 8, verse 12. Hello, I'm Apostle. This is John chapter 8, verse 12. Then spake Yahushua again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And that shows through what? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the light, man. You know? He's like, when you got like, um, when the ships are coming to, um, to, a, to, a, to, a, to a landing, you have the what the lighthouse that, that guides and directs them so they can safely get to, to, to the land, man. You know? And that's what Yahweh Shai is doing, man. Mm. Okay? Through, 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 through the name of Yahweh Shai, through following the, the, the knowledge, wisdom, and, and uh, of, the, of your scriptures and having faith, the Lord is guiding us to salvation, man. You know? Lord yes. wouldn't be of that men, man. Uh -huh. John 12 and 35. Then Yahweh Shai said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while ye have the light. His darkness will come upon you. Mm. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whether he could. Like what wow. you were saying and what the brother was saying too, man. Mm. It's the light helps you to see. It helps you to differentiate, you know, where you're going and differentiate from the right and the wrong, man. That's the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, man. And you know, two thirds of our people, they're walking steady on in the darkness. That's going to lead to their demise, man. Well, that's why it, it always goes back to what? Hey, Brother Kashar, can you read that Psalm 51? Because it's like, of course, us as the you know your hopeful elect have what have obviously obtained this word of have have obtained this truth, but it's like this 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 true truth isn't you know of us you know like we didn't obtain this truth because we're just so great we're so deep we just mm. we just go up a day and then yeah now I'm deep you know it, it's it's because the Lord. Ordained, it's, it's simple, really. Uh, uh, certain men got ordained to hear the word. Uh, uh, another portion of, made, uh, of men got ordained to, to just not ever come into this word. That's why now that we have the truth, it's important to pray that the truth it stays on us, man. C -c can you read Psalm 51 from the top? Somebody got it. Psalm 51, and verse 1. And it means, Have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, Blot out my transgressions. That's right. That's right. See, 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 that's the thing. It's like, you know, see, every day in this flesh, we are um, what, man? We are um, just, 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 just do something up in the flesh, man, yeah, and yeah. sin. God. Right? That's why it's important to pray unto the Lord that He actually what? Clears forth all the sins that we, we, we actually, you know, do man, because if he cho chooses to impute them sins upon us, we done. We done. We 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 through. You got please up. So Psalms thirty two from the I top. I was holding that. That's spread, but you can read it. it. Says, "Blessed is the man unto whom Yahweh imputeth not iniquity." So thirty two and one says, "Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered." And as as we spoke of uh, before, it says, "All have sinned, right, and come short of the glory." So we've all sinned. Uh, but Lord's will we be of the elect, you know, Lord's will, you know, our, 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 our you know, transgression is forgiven and our sins covered. Well, it says, blessed is the man unto whom Yahweh imputed not iniquity and in whose spirit there is no guile. Right? You, once again, going into the, you know, the same thing because we, we go off, you know, in, in, our, in our every day. Right? But we just got to pray that the Lord has mercy on us. You read, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what was it? James says, uh, if you break one law, you've broken them all. That's right. Come on, man. Keep going, that sword. Yep. Uh, this is verse 2, and it says, Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Cleanse me from my sin. Now, bear in mind, we're in sinful flesh. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. we're, we're in sinful flesh, praying that the Lord cleanses us from our sin. Because this whole truth comes down to faith and, and, and obtaining his mercy. Because it don't matter how many scriptures that you, you know, how deep you are, oh, you're so this, you're so this, you're so that, right? It's down to the mercy of the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's down to his mercy. You know, and it's a scary thing. When you, re when you really, when you really th 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 think about it, it's scary. Because he can just decide 
But on a certain day, this truth is away from me. Yeah. But that's why that fear is to what? Put you in, in, in the spirit to push the word mm -hmm. more, do more work, do more videos, and pray to it more. Because is it, this faith isn't, it's, it's not of us. It's not, it's not of you. It's, it's not of me. It's not of you. It's not of anybody. It's a gift of the most high. It's a gift of the most high. Because the Lord can put you in the truth as you read in multitudes and multitudes of the elect. Lest I be a castaway. And then yeah. cast you up. Uh, let me and the Apostle Paul, he wasn't in that, in that boastful spirit. He was in the spirit of, look, I'm the chief of sinners. You know? So, you know, I don't know what's going to happen to me, but I'm just doing what i got to do. That's the that's a that's the mentality of mind faith you gotta have, man. You know, you don't know what the Lord can do, man. So you always got you gotta trust in the Lord, but you also gotta fear the Lord, man. First yeah. Corinthians nine and twenty six is I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air, mm. but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means when I preach to others I myself should be a castaway. Right in this is um <clears throat> a, 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 the guy that basically the Lord used to, you know, teach, um, which was, you know, bring myself, this brother, and two other brothers in, you know, a, a, in the camp, right? You know, you, you know, you told us about the apostles, right? He, he he's a castaway, man. Right? He's nowhere to be seen. Okay. Um, and, you know, and it's you know when you witness it like that, you, you know, what, listen, four brothers in the camp. Yeah. You know. But then the Lord just said, "Now nah, we don't want you, man. Go away." Yeah. Right. That's why you you know you got to be humble, you know, and that the Lord can just take you up the game if you wanted to. If you weren't chosen, many are called, but few were chosen. Yeah, that's the thing. The Lord is Yahweh Shemuel Shai is out there because a lot of the time, like the brother's explaining, the person you'll hear about the truth from is not even in the truth and never really interested in it like mm. that. They never go the full mile, but the Lord you will use that person, you know, to plant the seed, mm. and then you go and you actually do it in righteousness, man. Yeah? You know, so the Lord is out there concerning so. You know, he, he, he was like, I, I tried to find it. He, he, might, he actually says he might be saved. Yeah. And, and it's like, Paul what? Paul, Paul healed people, you know, rose man from the dead, you know, done great works. Got told by the um, Lord himself that, look, I chose you. I've chosen you as a vessel to go and be to the Gentiles. But even he, even in that state, Paul was humble to say, look, I hope that I'm, I might make it, you know? That's why you can't come in the truth with the spirit of, yeah, I, I, just, know, I, I just know I'm righteous. I'm me. I, I, just, I just know I'm going to make it, you know? Because that's how you, 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 you then get a puff up and proud and fall out, man. Yeah. You know? Do, do you want to go back to that Psalm 51? Have, have you got something? Yeah, I've got uh, Romans 7, 17, uh, 16, 15. <laughs> 15 it says for that which I for that which I do I allow not for what I would that do I not for what I hate that do I and it, what man go up I think it's, it, it's it, that scripture starts a bit earlier in verse, verse 7 or something like that verse 8 yeah right. it's really the whole chapter to be fair well, just read it. <laughs> you know? Because it's spiritual that like, we was are speaking about those who, who have obtained this truth. We was are speaking about those who, who have obtained this truth, those who have the elect, how, how they've obtained, you know, grace and mercy. But it's like, that's not because they're, they're, they're just so great. They're just special beings. Of course they're special because they have the word. But it's down to the power of the Lord. Right? Um, can you read Jeremiah 9 and, and 25, I believe? Uh, punish all them that are circumcised? No, it's, um, let, let, no, 23, I believe. Oh, I got it, I got it, yeah, that's right. This is Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23. Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Mm -hmm. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, yeah. but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. Yeah, man, because, you know, some people get, get puffed up and proud because uh, he, he, he went to this school, this university, 
And then you have other guys out there who, 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 who get proud and puffed up because of their strength. But us in his faith, uh, as a hopeful elect, thank the, um, the um, Lord that you've obtained his truth. And it's possible that you could potentially very well be of his elect. Yeah, but that's why you go through things, man. That's why you go through and that's why you come into truth, you start catching hell, because what does the scripture say? Knowledge puffeth up. Right, and you see how these guys who get a little bit of knowledge get, right? You know, start moving around all powers. Like, yeah, I know something that you don't know. Right, so that's why the Lord humbles you, man. Right, let's see, you start getting a bit more in the spirit, start getting more in the, um, a greater understanding, the Lord will keep, you know, will break you down. Right, another level, another devil. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, I said it's literally the whole chapter. Um, uh, should I just read the point? Yeah, just yeah. get to the point. Cool. Um, uh, this is Romans 7, uh, verse 15. Again, it says, For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. Yeah. But that's speaking about why? Because it's on the flesh, man. Speaking about, you know, in this flesh, because cause in this flesh, it's like, you know, the actual spirit itself yearns to be perfect, you know? You know, that's why sometimes you might, not, not sometimes, you might do things that's off, and you're like, fuck. You're like, fuck, why did I do that, man? But then, you obviously have to understand as well, look, you're in the flesh, right? Because if, if we, see, the thing is, in this truth, you, you actually have to, like, you know, sin to appreciate why you actually need a saviour. Mm. And it's here yeah, because we actually sin because, yeah, I'm sinning. The um, Lord puts you in situations whereby you sin to understand why I, I need a saviour. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so be, be, because if we were just all in this truth, we're all good. We'd be like, I mean, if he comes back, you know, he might. If he comes back, you know, it matters up to him, but I'm cool anyway. I mean, that's 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 wicked. So, it's, it's, for example, Joe, after he 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 got persecuted and fucked, you know, and and and, and beaten down, well, when he got everything back and more, he truly his faith was on another level, because he's like, wow. <laughs> so the heavenly Father brought me down really low and now I've been exalted even greater than I was before Christ. now part partly how we get humbled is by sometimes you actually might catch hell or sometimes the um, Lord might have you do stuff that's off that fucks you up in the spirit yep. then but that's why it's some 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 chapter um, 51 is so important I've got a precept for you go ahead this is Luke chapter 18 verse 9 and he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves, that they were righteous and despised others. Mm. Two men went up into the temple to pray. Yeah, I, 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 I thought he was going to get that. That's good. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican. Yeah. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. Yeah. Most high, I thank thee that I am not as other men. Yeah, are. man, I'm deep, man. Yeah. Hey, bro, can you read that scripture? You know? yeah. yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah. I, I, I already know I'm righteous. Yeah. Shit, I, 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 I sinned in six months. No. It goes on to say, <laughs> extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican, or even was having a guy at the publican. Yeah, yeah, he, he's a nigga, man. Yeah, she see me. Look, she's look at my priest. Look at my priest. Reminds me of the law of publican sin, publican and sinners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it says, okay, I had it on point still, yeah. It says, um, the Pharisee, so yeah, so it says, I fast twice in the week. Fast shit every day. I'm doing good, Lord. I give, t and he's, this is boasting. He's boasting, right? 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 You know, in, right. Like, like it's of himself. Yeah, like, like you know what's crazy? He, he's boasting in righteousness, but it's wicked. No, oh, yeah, but we just call it Dallas, um, the Dallas brothers and elders, they have that term humble bragging. Oh, uh, I've not right, heard them yeah. say that in a while. Yeah, yeah. And they will be like, they'll be like, yeah, these guys are humble bragging. Oh, God, go, yeah, you know, man, you know, I just paid like two grand in tithes, you know. Oh, shit. Hey, man, you know. Yeah, 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 you know, and then people do that. But as all the brothers say, um, uh, we, we read it uh, uh, earlier about you know faith, and now not of you, uh, you're saved through uh, what do you call it? You're saved through faith, right? Um, and, and not, that, of not of yourselves, yeah. right? Is the gift of the Most High, right? So 
Sorry, go. You look like you want. No, I was, I was just gonna say, you know, the, you know what they'll say when 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 a man came to the Lord and said, "Oh, you're a good man," and mm. said, "There's none that is good but yeah. my Father yeah. in heaven." Yeah. That's that. That's that spirit of, oh, they, I want them to call me a good man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm a good man. Hey, that, I, that's a, that's a demon, man. Because yeah, we're all yeah, wicked, man. man. Yeah. yeah, we're all wicked. And and, and that's and that's the point I I, 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 went, I, was, I was struggling to make. But I'm trying to make is that guy saying he's doing this, he's doing that. But that shows you that there are people who will be doing all of these things, but doing them all for the wrong reason, yeah, man. It's sick, man. Right? Because the guy is saying, you know, I fast twice a week. Yeah. Well, but what do you have to say in Matthew the sixth chapter, man? Mm. You know, when you fast, that's, that's just between you and the Lord. Yeah. yeah. It says. Yeah. He was, and he, he was actually with the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he was with the Lord between you and the Lord, but he was there, and he was still going on. Mm. He says, I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican standing afar off yeah, man. would not lift up so much as his eyes onto heaven. Because he was humble. Yeah. Uh, we've Ooh. seen that in his truth. Yeah. It says, but smote upon his breast, saying, Yahweh Bashim Gal Shai. Be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Have, have have mercy upon him. Yeah. And 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 that's by being what? Called unto the spirit, man. Called unto the truth. Or really, just called unto the faith. Mm -hmm. Because from from that point, his, his faith was like real, man. He was like, man, I'm I ain't shit. I got a precept for you. You know, I ain't shit. Have mercy upon him. I tell you this, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Yep. Going Matthew, back to what the greater thou art, the yep. more thou humble thyself. Matthew 5 and 5, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Because it takes faith to be meek. Mm. Right? Because it's like, right, you know, that scripture which, 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 which was just, you were just reading, it it, 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 it it compares two extremes. So one guy thought, yeah, I'm on point because I'm doing, you know, I'm doing work, you know. Uh, I'm so great, you know? you know. I'm so deep, I'm so great. But his faith was small because if his faith was built up, he would know that really I'm doing everything, but it, it's not a bicep. But a guy who, who was through and said, Lord, Lord I'm sorry, I forgive, forgive me of my uh, uh, sins. His faith was stronger because he, he he knew he was off, and I said to that, look, man, I I, I need a savior, right? Yeah. Because if you have, like, if you're puffed up and proud in in the works in which you do, that means you actually don't believe that you actually need a savior, man, right? Do you want to go back to that Psalms? Uh, verse three: For I acknowledge my transgressions. And my sin is ever before me. So, so, so what it means to, to that, that that sin is ever before him? It, but basically, like it means it's like it, it, it's a thing that he, he he thinks about. Like you know what, I ain't perfect. You know, like it's a thought that always comes to his mind. Look, I ain't shit. I ain't perfect. Because so the very day that you're in the faith, and you're like, yeah, I'm I'm doing good. I'm perfect. Well, that's probably the day you fall out. You know. Keep going up. Oh, quick precept, sorry. Okay. This is uh, Matthew chapter 9, verse 10. And it came to pass, as Yahushua sat at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eat if your master were publicans and sinners? But when Yahushua heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. Mm -hmm. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Yeah, that's right, man. And, and, and really, in terms of those who, who are, are, are um, um, whole and those who are sick, really, both of them are sick, man. Yeah. Right? But it's just that Wonderful. One group understands. Look, I am sick. Mm -hmm. But the other groups like, look, I'm, I'm blessed, man. Yeah. Save me. I don't need that. Save me. No, they were sick. Were worthy to be whole. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. The actual ones who was, you know, and, and and acknowledge they're sick, know that they need someone to come and make them whole. Right. But, but but those who thought, I'm, look, like, 
Here he is. You know this guy strolling around with cancer and a broken arm. Yeah. But he's proud. He says, like, nah, I'm good, man. Yeah. But the, the, the guy who's who, who's sick too, he's like, man, I, I really need someone to come and heal me up. Yeah. Someone to make me whole. Yeah. And and that and that's what uh, and that's what, what that's what separates those who heal who have the let and those who ain't of the let. <laughs> those who ain't of his let are puffed up and proud. Look, man. Look, man, I don't care about no power. I don't care about no most high, man. I'm the most high. You know, puffed up and proud. Mm. But, but, but those who have the faith understand, look, I, am, I ain't shit. Lord, have mercy and save me. You know? Yeah. I've got a precept. I don't know what Bob was going in. It's 1 Corinthians 1, 26. It says, for, see, for ye see your calling, brethren, how about not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, for the Most High has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and the Most High has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things that are mighty. I was above what I was going into how you know the, 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 this this notion that just because a guy's a publican he can't get it. Now, why why are you with them guys? You know why are you with the low? And that's uh, you know goes into the whole thing of um, Sirach thirteen twenty three. Well, if you uh, would you call it, don't have to get it, but Sirach thirteen twenty three about when a rich man speaks. Right, you know, if we would be wise and you know, looking, you know, the, you know, if we had letters after our names, people would come and listen. We, you know, we'd have a spot on the TV channel, whatever, what have you. Well, but that's not how the Mosai works. But the Mosai likes the controversy. He likes the underdog. And look at the story of Gideon. Mm. Right, started with a massive number, whittled it down to three hundred. But what was the reason? So that you wouldn't think it was of yourself, man. Mm. All right. That's right. Can we go back to ourselves? Verse 4, against thee, thee only, have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Mm. Behold, I was shaken in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Yeah, in sin, where, 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 where did, did, he, 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 did, did his mother conceive him? Meaning, from us, us lot here in this flesh, from the womb, We've sinned, right? Because when Adam fell, man, everyone else who came that from him since then has fallen too, oh. you know? But then God might come in the truth after a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm just so great. I'm just so this. Well, guess what? From, from the womb, for thousands of years, we, we, we've been off, you know? I've got the precept. Yeah. Romans chapter 7, verse 18. For I know that in me, that oh. is, in my flesh... flesh. Well, if no good thing, for to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. Bro, <laughs> you could be trying to do the best. You could be trying to. Oh, I'm gonna keep the Sabbath. I'm gonna work. Bro, look, man. <laughs> That's why the scriptures talk about over righteousness, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I believe Apostle. It was. I believe it was other Apostle Rukar. Basically saying, you come out, you walk out the door, and immediately, bam, you've done something not. Yeah. You know, you you look, you might see a nice ass. Like, oh shit. Right, and then you see a hand holding that, and you're like, oh man, there you said, but that was just something that happened. Yeah. Right? I believe that was uh, the account that he was given. It's like, that's just this flesh. Yeah. Right? Now, uh, you know, as, as the scripture said, man, that's why we need to save. Yeah. You know, yeah, man, it's Sabbath today. Hey, man, I ain't working. And the Holy Spirit have me do something that's off. Yeah. They were like, yeah, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's hey, the Lord. You know, them ones, you be, you, be, you know, you know might, might be halfway through a meal. Fuck, it's a shabbat. <laughs> but you've cooked, you've cooked most of it. It's half done, right? Is you know, sim and you still like, fuck. Yeah. yeah, man. The only good thing you can do right now is the work. Yeah. The only good thing you can do. Yeah, you know. Oh man, there's some more in this. You know. Do you? That's why at first, you know, when you come in the street, you be like, okay, in, in, on the first day, it's Sabbath. Okay, so I'm calling sick. I ain't gonna do work. I ain't gonna go work. And then you be at your home in a dark room by yourself and you still do something that's off. Yeah, but try arranging that every week. Try arranging that every week. That's all right, Jesus. You can't, you can't do that. Yeah, I need another day off. What do you mean, another day off? <laughs> and then no, 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 you know what? You know what? Have the rest of the year off, man. You're fired. <laughs> you know? It says. Man, look, man, we're fruit. Yeah. We're just, yeah. you know, you need to say it, man. That's how it, man, that's that's what it comes down to. Yeah, we're through, Knowing that you need a savior, man, you need yeah. to be saved. Yeah. For the for the good that I would I would I do 
For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 and and that there's countless ways you, you, you've experienced that in this faith. You know? Mm. You, you might be like, okay, man, you know, I, 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 I ain't gonna eat, you know, anything, you know, that's, that's off. You, you, you might try and get the best food, you know, go to the health food store. Then you might check the ingredient. Say, oh, shit. Oh, before you even check the ingredient, you really. Yeah. Just, you know, you say it. Maybe I'll check the ingredients. And then you feel them cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It says, well, you can't, you can't escape, you know, Ezekiel 4.13, yeah, yeah. man. Ezekiel 4.13. You know, we, his children of Israel shall eat their defiled bread amongst the, you know, the Gentiles. The Gentiles. You know, if it says pork on the back, don't eat that, man. You know, if it says gelatin, you know, don't eat it. Yeah, because well, you go too deep. You know, you go if to you go too Google deep, to the e numbers. You, you, you might be at home, mm. just bugged out in darkness, but like, I ain't drink of water. Mm. I don't know what's in it. Oh, you spill it out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, you might say I'm going vegetarian, but Esau puts eel yeah, DNA yeah, yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah. in tomatoes. Yeah, in tomatoes. <laughs> you know? yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah. You know, so what you going to do? You going to starve? Yeah. Yeah, we going to starve. <laughs> you know, you, know, you, get, you know, anything you love, but you get yeah, drinks. Yeah, like you have people like that. You just come to where, and they just, you just don't, you, that's why our apostles no. always stress. Don't be all righteous about yeah. certain things. But well, well, the scripture even says, less than and destroy yourself. Yeah, yeah, you know? <laughs> I know. Like, you know what I mean? Because like, yeah, even yeah. like me personally, I remember, bro, you remember when you know, you first came to work? Mm. One of the first questions I asked him was, bro, on the Sabbath day, man, how do you eat? Because yeah. I'm like, well, what do you do? Like, you can't buy, you can't sell, you can't eat. Well, what do you do? Yeah. You know, but then after over time, you get to understand that. Look, man, this is hell. You know, yeah, that's the right to say. Like, no, I, I ain't saying it's sad if you're having a barbecue in. Flipping <laughs> burgers. Flipping burgers. Yeah, that's what she told you, Farm 11, the children of Israel show. Yeah. Uh, rehearse yeah, the we'll righteous acts. Right. Yeah. right? You know, um, he, that's yeah. That's it. all you can do. You got more? Yes. Yeah. It says, now if I do that, I would, if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Yeah, because guess what? The spirit itself is perfect, mm. right? It, it's 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 it's, it's yearns to be perfect, but the flesh, mm. just just wicked, mm. like the actual the, the actual flesh, it, the flesh, uh, the, the 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 whole flesh is just against the truth. Mm. The flesh, the flesh actually wants to commit adultery. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the the flesh wants to be a nigger. Because because yeah. the flesh will see a piece of ass and not think, oh, it, it's not gonna think, oh, is that God? You know, mm. the law, or is it God a man? Is it betrothed? You're just thinking, oh, I ass. must have the flesh. Ass. Ass. flesh, flesh, flesh. <laughs> I must have yeah. flesh. Yeah. You know? Shit. Um, like, like, you know, you, you see, even though it's off, man, like, like, even if you have um, pork, pork, man, Jake, 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 Jake might spice it up and put, put the barbecue sauce, you'd be like, oh, it tastes good. Mm. But then the actual spirit is like, no, that's unlawful. Mm. Because it's it's unlawful according to the scripture, but yeah, but yeah. us in the flesh like hey taste taste it. Yeah, hey, hey, bro, it's gonna test. Back in the day, you smelled that bacon. Oh shit, bacon! But now you smell that bacon, like, man, it's disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was that demon that was on you yeah. to be enjoying eating that, man. Yeah. And hey, hey, every now and then I'm walking up, shit, that smells good. It's a like, poor. I was like, oh man, I saved. Yeah. And then later yeah. on, you can smell like, oh, what the fuck was yeah. that? Adultery, man. Yeah. You know the the the. the that's about coming across another man's girl, yeah. but in the spirit, they're like, No, yeah. look, man, yeah, she, she, she got a man, I ain't even going to talk yeah. to her, yeah, yeah, you know. It says, I find then a law that when I will do good, evil is present with me, yeah. I mean, I mean, I try and do right, but but a very good portion of the time, I can't, yeah. It says, For I delight in the law of Yahweh after the inward man, yeah, but our spirit, the spirit, yeah. The spirit is like, yeah, yeah man, renewed day by day, yeah, yeah. Renewed, renewed by, renewed yeah. day by day, go ahead. But I see another law in my members. A wicked law. <laughs> Warring. Yeah. At war, bro. Yeah. That, 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 that's, and that's the thing about this truth as well. You're a, hey, the spirit, man, you, that's why it's a war, man. That's why we're soldiers. That's why it's part of that endurance, going back and forth. You might, you might be, you know, that's why in this you gotta be circumspect because there's gonna be certain things you're gonna go through. Then you gotta be like, nah, that's nah, that's off, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, 
You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to have that constant um, struggle, man. Because Satan's out here trying to devour, man. Hey, hey, this is the actual scripture it says what in Jude that you earnestly contend mm. for this faith. Well, mm. really, some really a very good part of the, the fight is you. Mm. You know, it's fighting against you. Right. You know, meaning the spirit fighting against the flesh, because the 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 the, the this whole whole flesh is puffed up and proud, man. Yeah. Like the actual flesh, you know, when 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 you're being a cursed out or something, you can just get puffed up and be like, nah, but brother, nah. You know what I mean? Mm. You no. Know? And, and me personally, sometimes I've been rebuked. Where it's like, you know, you can have to, you, you, you actually have to like really praise the Lord, and 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 spiritually observe what's what's being said to you, because. If it's according to the flesh, the, 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 the flesh will come up with a thousand excuses as to why it's really his fault. No, it's really that brother's fault. But like, if you're spiritual, you, you see, you know, you know what? No, this is the Lord speaking. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and scripture says, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous yeah. therefore and repent. Mm -hmm. right. He says sometimes at that point it may not be your fault. I'll, I'll, you know, I'd tell this story the time I got cursed up for something I didn't do for three years later mm -hmm. and then when the penny dropped I was like oh shit right and I remembered that rebuke from all that time ago and I was like fucking up right but that's just how the Lord works right but bro was going into you get cursed out or whatever you know you, you know bro was get on you one it's they're getting on you out of luck and two mm -hmm. You just gotta take it, man. Yeah. And it's a spirit evil way. Yeah. yeah. It's a spirit spirit evil way. Hey man, the um the the uh, the um Lord uh, you know except for being um judged for his own sins, died for sins that of others. Hey, <laughs> you know could get spat on by people who 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 his sins he's dying for. Mm. You know? So so hey man. Sometimes you actually might experience things that, you know, whereby you actually didn't actually do. But guess what? In the faith, sometimes you, you have to just take that L, man. That's why the, the scripture says to suffer yourself to be defrauded. Mm -hmm. Because doing that, it shows a lot to your character too. If you can suffer yourself to be defrauded and take that humbly, then that shows that you have a good character, man. Yeah. You know? You don't always have to be in the right. You don't always have to, you know, yeah. you know prove the point and, you know come out on top. Sometimes you got it's just about taking L's this truth, man. Yahweh trying took the biggest L. You know, he died for like the Bible said, sins that didn't even belong unto him. Yeah. And if uh, we should call him the servant not greater than his master. Kind, mm -hmm. exactly. And I had a quick piece here, man, for what, what you were saying. First Peter two and eleven, did he beloved I beseech you with strangers and pilgrims to abstain from fleshly lust, which war against the soul. Like mm -hmm. when you talk about that war, it's a, it's a continual war against the flesh and then in your spirit man yeah. you know your spirit wants to do good and then, yeah you know your flesh just wants to commit all kinds of wickedness yeah man. you got jake out there that faggots yeah yeah they're actually you know butt blasters man yeah <laughs> and they do that and their flesh wants to do that yeah yeah but the spirit is just disgusted with it man. yeah and wants to jump out and then go back in the spirit oh, oh, oh. Uh, that's why you do the half the time you know these jakes were faggots but my man a lot of them jakes commit suicide, man. Okay. You know? Okay. And when, when they walk past, they can't get all messed up. And yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. Man, look, man, if it was down to the flesh, we'd just be at home all day with the PS4 on, getting head. You know? You ain't doing no videos, you're just at home, you're comatose. You right? But according to the spirit, you're like, nah, I can't, I can't do that. Mm. You know, I have to push the work. I have to re read the news. I have to do the videos. I have to feed the flock. I have to feed the sheep. Or else I'm going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. okay. It says, But I see another law of my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. Mm -hmm. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Who? 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 I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I know a name. <laughs> hey, man. You getting the priest out? Yeah, 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 but go huh. speak. Hey. Hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Yahweh Shai is returning with them chariots, man. Okay? And as it's written in 1 Corinthians 15 chapter, in a moment in the twinkling of an eye, the change is going to, it's going to be a change, man. Okay? And then that's when the law is going to be written into our, into our minds in, uh, perfectly, man. We're going to keep the law perfect, uh, pursuant to Hebrews the 8th chapter. 
And that's because we need a change that like we're going on to. This, these bodies are fucked up, man. We're all messed up, man. Mm. Have a piece of... Philippians are 3 and 20. For our conversation is in heaven. For whence we look for the saviour, Yahawashai Hachamashayat, who shall change our vow body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he's able to subdue all things unto himself. So part of us being saved, part of our salvation is the salvation from this body. Look, this this flesh is not going into the kingdom of heaven, man. They say this this flesh is. That's why we have to be changed, bro. Because if we ain't changed, look, if which I, I remember us speaking about this, man. If we went into the kingdom now in this body, give it a thousand years, Jay's gonna be back square one, back to square one, man. Oh yeah. Well, that's why Hebrews eight it says finding fault with them, mm -hmm. and not them being Israel, being us, right? So. <laughs> and and the fault was the flesh. Yeah, you know. You know the problem is 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 with us, man. That's why the Lord can't keep His promise. But the Lord is not a man that He should like. The Lord's word does not go out into the void. So the Lord created a way. Yeah. The Lord created a way such that you know we can obtain those promises, right? And that that way is through Yahweh Shai, the mediator of a better covenant, to come and, and redeem us from the curse of the law. Yeah, the whole precept, uh, Matthew 26 and 41, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but mm. the flesh is weak. Yeah, watch and pray, stay spiritual, man. That's right. Now, when you're staying spiritual, you're, you know, you're, you're seeing certain pitfalls. Well, you're seeing, actually, nah, you know, I was being proud in that instance. Slut, you know, spirit might then jump in you to go on a fast. I like, Lord, you know, you know, I was being proud, whatever, you know, I've got pride in me, make me more humble, mm. right? You know, uh, and you know, when you're being spiritual, you just avoid certain situations, man. Just because you're like, you're, you're looking at things from a spiritual perspective, like, nah, it's, um, this doesn't feel right. You start trusting your spirit more as well. Like, that, nah, something's not right about it, right? You know, maybe the spirit says, turn right, you know, fuck it, I'm going to turn right. And then you find out some madness happened. That you might not even find out. You might not find out until the kingdom why the Lord said turn right instead of go straight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Alright, man. Alright, man. Um, you got any more precepts? Or, 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 yeah. No, sorry. Alright, man. Alright. With that, we're going to say all praises be to you. Yahweh, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Gash. And say, we're going to say double honors. And to the apostles and the elders, a great most of them. Mm -hmm. With that, we're going to say, Shalom. 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 Shalom.